Okay, here's another example of solving a system of equations using the substitution method. Now in this case with both of the equations we have fractions. So when we have fractions we're going to do some preliminary work before we start solving because that's going to make your life much simpler. Otherwise, you're going to be substituting with fractions and multiplying and fractions on fractions. It's not going to be fun. So in order to get rid of the first set of fractions, sorry about that, we're going to multiply the top equation by the least common denominator there. So 2 and 3, the least common denominator would be 6. The bottom equation, the least common denominator, is going to be 3. So if we multiply out the first, again, we have 6 times 1 half x. I'll just write out all the terms so that you can see it clearly. 6 times 2 thirds y and 6 times 1. So when you write it out this way, you can see 6 divided by 2, that's 3. 3 times 1, that's 3x. The second term, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 4y. And finally, we have 6 times 1, which is 6. The second equation, I'll write out all the terms, 3 times 1 over 3 x plus 3 times y equals 3 times negative 1. Multiplying out 3 over 3, that's 1. 1 times 1 is 1, so we end up with 1x or just x there. 3 times y, that's 3y. 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3. All right, so here's our two equations. You can see that we do have an equation that has an x by itself, and there it is. It could be a y, but in this case, we have x again by itself. So we're going to take that equation and solve it for x. What we need to do first, subtract the 3y, subtract the 3y, and we end up with x is equal to negative 3y minus 3. And we're going to go back to the other equation, which is over here. And we're going to replace the variable x with the new name for x, which is negative 3y minus 3 plus 4y equals 6. Then we're going to distribute. So 3 times negative 3y, it's negative 9y. 3 times negative 3, so again, we distribute it here. We're distributing there. 3 times negative 3, that's negative 9. Plus 4y equals 6. Combining like terms, negative 9y plus 4y is negative 5y. Use your calculator if you need to. Negative 9 plus 4, that's negative 5 with the y's. Then we have minus 9 equals 6. We're going to add 9 to both sides. And we end up with negative 5y is equal to 15. Divide by negative 5. And finally, y is equal to negative 3 y is equal to negative 3. So we're not completely done yet. Again, we look for to see if we have x defined as a, a function of y, which we do over here. This equation tells us what x is if we know what y is. And we do know what y is. y is negative 3. And so we get x is equal to negative 3 times negative 3, then minus 3. So that's 9 minus 3, which is 6. So x is equal to 
6 in this case. And so our final solution, remember, we write the, six first, the x first, 6 comma negative 3. And that's how we solve a system of equations using the substitution method. And first, by getting rid of all the fractions using least common denominators. So that's going to do it for this video.